a lot of times today, we'll see the modern left hijack messages from civil rights leaders like Martin Luther King. They'll use it to push whatever agenda they want, and a lot of times, it causes division and hate. Like when they separate school children based on race, or when they judge people for the color of their skin, saying that white people are oppressors and black people are victims. Well, Martin Luther King's niece, Elvita King, was asked for her interpretation of Martin Luther King's message. Check this out. Alveda, listening in on that, a relative of Dr. Martin Luther King, you must be used to hearing those types of accounts now uh, of what it meant to people. But do you think the words that he spoke that day have been realized? I was a teenager uh, in the 1960s. I got married in 69. <laughs> and one thing that my uncle would say, we must learn to live together as brothers, I'll add as sisters, or perish together as fools. And he, in his own speech, he said, add righteousness and justice together. He talked about a check of insufficient funds. So those are some of the things. And some of that is definitely still here today. He also said, we must learn to live together as brothers and sisters, and we are one blood and one human race, that we're not separate races. I think he would want us to remember that. The other point, and I hope it doesn't freeze, you have to do this in every generation, every decade, right. and on every platform. Right. Because if you forget your, if right. you don't, if you erase your history, you're going to repeat it again. So that's why all this mm -hmm. stuff about burning the history books right. and locking all the black kids in a classroom away from everybody else and telling them this is happening in Florida as well. There's a school, and the black principal agreed to have the black kids put in their own separate classroom. No, you don't separate. You come together, act like human beings, and learn human dignity and to care about each other. That's something Martin Luther King Jr. talked about in that speech, cashing that check for insufficient funds, dealing with racism and uh, systemic racism, mm -hmm. laws that are written into our laws, totally opposite. He said he had a dream that's rooted in the American dream. Yeah. That's in that speech. So you have to remember these things, but you have to deal with it. Yes, I agree with the other speakers. There's more to be done, and it must be done in every generation. Alvita's response is very different than what you hear today, and it closely resembles Martin Luther King. She said we should come together and stop judging people for the color of their skin. But activists today say we should judge people for the color of their skin. They say we should separate and label each other based on our physical differences. White people are oppressors and black people are victims. I think her strongest point was saying that if we forget our history, we're going to repeat it. That doesn't just include the atrocities of slavery, how bad it was, and why we should never repeat it, but it also includes weaponizing that history and using it for hate and division today, because that's exactly what's happening. Students are being separated and judged based on the color of their skin. Like she mentioned, they're even being put in separate classrooms, which is modern day segregation. Martin Luther King would be disgusted with the Democratic Party today. And Elvita King was a Democrat before the 90s, but now she's a Republican. She knows what it's like to experience real discrimination, and she would never want to do that to anyone else. Outside of individual racism, which everyone experiences, today's leftists haven't experienced any real discrimination yet they play victim and gaslight for their own personal benefit. Martin Luther King didn't stand for that. He stood for equality. He stood for unity, and he believed in judging people for the content of their character. The civil rights leader of today that perfectly emulates the modern left is George Floyd, a lifelong criminal who pointed a gun at a pregnant woman's stomach and didn't care about anyone but himself. George Floyd was selfish and a hypocrite, which perfectly represents the modern left. If he wasn't killed by a crooked cop, no one would know his name. And that's just the truth. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the modern left hijacking Martin Luther King's message. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.